Hi, this is MC Shetty for a new series. This uh, is a video series which is going to be a companion to my modding tutorials and I'm going to make short videos explaining uh, simple things. Uh, step by step building up a mod. Uh, this series is for 1.12.2 so keep that in mind. If you use another version of watch this uh, video in the future things may be different so let's get started we are going to make a new mod from scratch uh, the best way to do that I personally find is to just uh, get, go check some existing project and cut out what you don't need so let's do that I'm using uh, uh, Linux here and uh, a command line here, so you can do whatever you want. You can do it in, this in Windows too. Um, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go to GitHub for my modding tutorials for the 1.12 version clone. I copy that. like that. So that's my reference, but I'm going to make uh, let's call it my mod like that. And I'm going to copy a few things. First we need I'm going to explain what those are. Um, yeah, that's about the minimum. So let's go here. Um, yeah. So we are going to edit. Uh, so Gradle is the tool that is used to set up a modding environment, and these are the minimum files that you need. Um, if you want to use set your uh, use version control, you can do git init here and uh, later push to some uh, repository. But I will not be handling that, um, at least not now. But first, let's check out uh, build with Gradle. Can I zoom in? I don't know if I actually know. Oh, I can probably set the font. Hold on. Okay, so I made the font a bit bigger. So most of this you can leave untouched. Um, so these are some repositories for getting various uh, dependencies. When making mod, it's always handy to have some other mods with you, like J, GI. Uh, I also put the one pro bit because yeah, it's one of mine and it's easy to use for me. Um, but and also Wyla is here as well. Uh, the the one from the, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so you can add more repositories here if you have other dependencies or remove one. My what? Let's change these. So. This is the Forge version. Let's go check what the latest is. Uh, what I usually do. So, uh, this is. I'm just going to pick this one. That's not how you paste here. Uh, and I need to put 1.12 in front. This is probably also not the latest mapping, but that's okay. It doesn't matter that much. You can then check out all these dependencies and see if they are okay. I'm 
um, I'm going to do J GI because it may be that they have changed that they're not compatible with latest force. I don't know to be sure. So just going to check here. Uh, mess J one dot twelve. Just go to check what the latest version is. So now I uh, using four dot seven and I see four dot thirteen. Yeah that's the latest. So four dot thirteen dot one okay this you can all leave that's no problem then so uh, we already made the src directory i'm going to check so that's a structure that i usually follow in src yeah src so first you have main and then then you have uh, Java. And then in Java you have... Uh, like that. Working in parallel here, but you do whatever you like. Not assets. Um, so if you compare them now, you should have a similar structure. See that I didn't make any mistakes. Yeah. So in resources, you find uh, mcmod.info. I'm going to copy that one too. And let's also edit that one. By the way, use whatever editor you like. I am using uh, Vim, but something like that. And normally, this should be okay. So. Um, let's close this, it's my own uh, close project. Okay, so open, you select the project, uh, tutorial, my mod, and you, you open the build with Gradle, open as project, okay, yes. Yeah, I made at the previous attempt here, so delete. Okay, this works better. Uh, apparently, yeah, I made a mistake. Let's fix that. Fresh. This might take a while. Okay, seems it also had a problem with JAI. Um, let's check. Oh, yeah. I have to do the same here. Refresh. Yeah, that's better. And so, okay, now it appears here. You have tasks and build set. 
if this is the task we want to do. This will set up a forge for us. Like this. The first time you do this, it will take a, a long time. I've done this before. So for me, it goes relatively quick. The things I'm doing here, you can actually also do in the comment line, uh, like this. So that that works too, and uh, then you can you can do every task for the comment line. You don't actually have to do it in IntelliJ. Um, and by the way, Eclipse will also work, of course. But uh, I'm not I don't use Eclipse myself, so can't really help with that. So. Let's pause the video and wait until this is finished. Okay, so this is what you want to see, built successful. Now we also need to run this task. This will generate uh, uh, run environments. So let's do that. Successful. So now you see a Minecraft client. There's still some red things. Uh, you have to refresh the Gradle project. Um, yeah, it's refreshing. Okay, so now let's try it out. Okay. So now Minecraft is starting from within IntelliJ, but uh, yeah, we we don't have a mod yet. I'm going to test if the dependencies worked at least at one probe and JAI. I have the one probe. And so everything appears to be okay. So this works. Um, so this, from this point on, you have a uh, structure here. And you can then start creating uh, your mod file. But this will be for a future for the next episode, where we will continue this. So this was the first tutorial. See you next time for next episode. Bye bye.